Um, Mrs. Van Dyke wants we, to speak we, to we, the resource center. Yeah, yeah, if uh, you want to come up and speak about that, you can, you can do that here. You okay with that? You, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm okay with it. <laughs> this is a democracy. You can speak. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you haven't oh, been anyway. to a school board meeting lately. <laughs> <laughs> like I might have to go back to um, my Korean stuff. Go ahead. My concerns is that we're building this huge community center over in Carver Heights area. And when I think of a community center, I think of my community, Leesburg, as one, not individual community centers over here. I've got my community center, you got your community center, you stay in your community center, I'll stay in mine. I mean, that really divides our town. The other concerns I have about the community center is we're duplicating services. Everything that I've heard come about this community center, about the culinary arts, that we're going to build this grand kitchen and we're going to have caterers come out of there. We're going to teach people how to cook. Well, let's see. Lake Sumter, Leesburg High, Lake Tech, Valencia, and Florida Technical Colleges all do culinary arts programs. And some of these places are right here within our community and are offered at a very reasonable price. Right now, during um, the Florida Technical College, there's Pell Grants out there that people can go do culinary arts for literally nothing out of their pocket. So the fact that we're going to duplicate that here in Leesburg, I don't know how, because other centers are doing it for free and getting people actually qualified to go into the kitchen and work. My other concern is the computer banks. We're going to teach people how to do word processing. We're going to teach people how to do WordPerfect. We're going to teach them how to do a resume so they can go out and find a job. That's what Workforce Central does right here in Leesburg. They have a beautiful facility. They're right beside Save-A-Lot. They train people on how to do resumes. They train people on how to do jobs. They find, they can even find these colleges where there's Pell Grants available that you can go out and basically have college on the federal tax dollars. But yeah, we want to duplicate that service here again. I'm very against duplicated services. And I have a feeling we're going to have this big, beautiful building sitting over there. It's going to sit empty. And then we're going to find ourselves in the position where we're like, oh, well, just let so-and-so use it for free since nobody is over there using it. And that's not the goal of the city. And that shouldn't be the goal of the city. You think it would be not used? Well, first of all, I think we have a distinction in the title because that was concerned in the beginning. It's not, it's, that's not called a community building. It said, you know, it says resource because I had thought about it too like that. But say resource where you get these people involved in doing the thing. Right. If well, you, it's, it's close. If they know it is close to home, and sometimes people can't get to those other places. And, but and this I'm is sure. Leesburg. I mean, we're not, we're not talking about asking people to go to Orlando. I'm talking about going down here to where Save a Lot's at, or right here where Leesburg High School's at for culinary arts or for workforce training. You really need to go visit Workforce Central. I think you'll be really impressed on what they do down there. And I don't. And and I'm not sure how we're going to do that as a city without hiring people and staffing this. And then that presents a whole nother problem. Okay, so now we're staffing it. How are we going to pay for those employees? And I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, our building is in the area. You siphon off a portion of our tax dollars, just like you do all the other businesses in the area to do this. And I'm just against it all together. And then <laughs> I'm really upset that you thought about building this glamorous building and you didn't even think about the fact that you know, maybe we should make it a storm shelter. And then someone said, oh, no, that's too expensive. We can't have a storm shelter. But we can have a triplicate kitchen. So I, 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 I don't know. I just I have some issues with it. I don't agree with it. I think the money could be better spent in that neighborhood. There's a lot of people walking down Montclair every day, and there's not a sidewalk. They're having to walk out in the street. I see children walking from the high school in the street because there's not a sidewalk. I mean, simple things like that in that community is needed more than a big empty building with a glamorous kitchen. And anybody should, if you shouldn't, you should learn from Lake County Schools when they built their kitchen at Lake Mineola High. Let's just say, People come out of the woodworks to sell you a stove, and we're talking these are expensive stoves, expensive refrigerators. These aren't <coughs> what you go down to Lowe's and pick up. So it's something to consider. Thank you. Thank you. Just a minute before you leave. 
Mm -hmm. I think I remember you when we were doing the playground, right? Then, then, okay. Uh, now, when did you learn about this resource center? How long ago? It's been a long time ago, and I've been asking for what has it been? Six months since our last meeting? Has it been six months? No, it hasn't been that long. Okay. Yeah, since that time. Did you it was. did you come here and talk about it? I happened up on it, and then I heard about it through different media sources about what's been going on with the community building. And I thought, wait a minute, my building belongs in that CRA. Why haven't I been coming to these meetings? So I started looking them up on the calendar and they don't pop up until they're, you're about ready to have one. And they're so spread out. And you see here today, you guys haven't had a meeting in, okay, less than six months, but it's gotta be at least more than four months. It was last year. And you have, you're trying to put a community center together and you don't even have it on a discussion for tonight. It may have went December the 13th by then? December, 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 December the 12th. December, December the 12th. December the 12th. Yeah. December the 12th, somewhere along the line. Okay. Well, let me just, can I just help Wait you Wait a minute, out? let me know. I'm not angry at you. I'm just, you know, I just, that's some, something to maybe in the beginning to think about, but we were being positive because we want people to be, not have to get a cab to go in place or whatever the case might be. Well, you have a ton of money. You could put uh, one of your goals on your website says better transportation for that area. Maybe you should look at that. Transporting the people to the places that already have the resources in place. And, and Ms. Van Dyke, in all due respect, yeah, this is not a overnight process. We went through this process not just here at the city, but also with the community on uh, selecting sites. This site was selected because the Morning City owns the land and it does give you access to bus transportation. Montclair does have sidewalks. I live in Montclair. My house is on 468. My church is on 468. My multi purpose bill is on 468. The county just put new sidewalks on the outside of my home last year with, yes. with, with, with the bus terminal for people to actually access um, bus transportation. On your uh, side of Montclair? On the well, that, other side of Montclair. That's what, a resource, that's what a resource center is. Yeah, now, but now, the other side of Montclair does not. that Montclair is also in the county. The majority of Montclair, except those types of properties, are in the county. Well, I just also, looked at the map, and according to that map, the CRA covers that area that doesn't have any sidewalks. Well, it may cover it, but it may not be in the city limits of Montclair. Um, we, I can almost tell you every piece of property that's in the city limits of Montclair because most of them, my church and next in the city or my father-in-law or my dad. So on 46 that I can tell you most of the property is in I'm next. not talking about for I'm talking about okay. well, Montclair. I'm talking, talking about, about, about that goes into Center Street. We're talking about access in the neighborhood resource yes, center, center. Which we do have a trail system that we put in place that for the city of Leesburg that runs from Carver Heights all the way to Montclair. And that's another thing that the city council discussed is access. And there's a, a huge trail um, that people can access in the neighborhood center as well. Um, you just said people walking. That's why we put it there so people can actually walk to it. Workforce, I'm very familiar with workforce. My child care center uses workforce to get employees. Um, they do a great job, but there's also a missing element. And staffing, we work with um, Kids Central, who we're going to partner with to actually do most of the employment for us to access programs and services in the Leesburg community. So this is not something we haven't thought about, we haven't hashed out, we've hashed out building size. If you look at the kitchen, most of that is funded by the USDA grant, not City of Leesburg dollars. So we, and it, not a hurricane shelter because our city management made sure that we could afford the resource center with the CRA dollars that come in. So this is not something that we have not talked about, thought about, went over. I mean, this building probably took long to build then the pavilion, and we're still here saying April when we said we're going to have it in March. But nothing, we, we're going to make sure we do it the right way. It won't sit empty. It won't but, be free. But don't you feel like it divides the community? No, I mean, I, why, I, why are you sending I, people that way I when you should it, be sending them this way to work for a central? Great. We, I think we send them that way because it brings our city together. People who may not ever come to Montclair now have a reason to come to Montclair. Those who parents who go to Ryan's, people thought Ryan's won't work, but we found a reason people to come to Montclair. So I don't think it divides the community. I think that's Commissioner, Commissioner Dennison's biggest thing. She didn't want a separate community center. That's why it's not a community center, it's a resource center where people in our city can go and get resources. You said the culinary arts center at that high school. When I graduate, where do I go? I may go to Lake Tech, may not go to Lake Tech. If I live in the Mount Clare community, the Carpheist community, and I want to walk and learn how to be a, a chef, not just someone who learns how to cook at Red Lobster, but well, maybe own my own business. Well, then that means you need to go to a college to do that. Bam. And, 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 and that was, if that was key, we all would be college educated. But unfortunately, we all don't go to college. So our city has said those who didn't go to college want to make sure you don't get left behind. There's opportunity but in the city But that's not the responsibility of a city. And, and, and again, that's your vote. 
but we have selected to make sure Leesburg is an inclusive city and that we provide opportunities for every resident and of And that's why by providing opportunities, you should support the culinary arts program at Leesburg High School well, we and support uh, and well, Workforce Central. How many kids Leesburg High School? About 1,400. And I'm sure the culinary arts school that cannot accommodate as many kids who like being culinary arts. My daughter, she's in the health science. Not all kids can go into health science, so guess what? And, and I was in high school. I didn't know what I was going to be a city council or a preacher in high school. So there's people who go to high school who may not take advantage of the opportunities. Right, so we're just going to duplicate services is what we're going to do. That's what you call it. That's what well, I'm calling okay. it. It's a duplicated well, gonna, service. We'll have more um, uh, more discussion as it comes. I think, uh, we're yeah, going to build had... this neighborhood center. We, and we've already spent a bunch of money to get it going. And we're not going to stop right now. We're going to get it built. It's going to get done. It's going to be bid out in April. We're going to get built it. But why, why are you so adamant on it? Because the neighborhood, of because the it's right, right down the street the from your house. Rate, it has nothing to do with my house. The city owns property. We have to buy property. Well, I we think the kitchen was a second phase anyway. Yeah, that's the yeah. yeah. There's some things with the kitchen. You you were there was a meeting on December the 12th, and I think we've had discussions on it then, but it might have been the one discussion. before that too. But. You know, but the, are, the, but are there's, we gonna there's probably some things that you're missing on that. As far as the kitchen goes, it's not being put in the in the initial phase. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be some applications after the building's built to get grants for the kitchen, um, and uh, and so that and so we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. As far as and um, are we going to staff this this building? How are we gonna uh, like, How are we gonna staff uh, this Christian building? Mr. Christian just said as we've worked with. Uh, Kid Central, Kid Central to uh, to work with them with their volunteer There's staff that they have. State funded agents. When we presented the plan, we, we laid out how the rooms were going to be and, and, and how the building would flow. So there's there's a computer system that we're going to be using and a computer center. There is an open kind of conference room, and then I think there are three or four different offices. One is going to be for lease for housing, so we're going to move the housing department out there. Then we have a we'll get into a lease agreement with CDC. Um, there was, I can't remember somebody else, and then Kids Central, and then Kids Central was a critical element for this. They are looking to expand what they're doing in Wildwood over to Leesburg to where they will assist us with the job training, job placement, and computer skills portion of the center. Ms. Van Dyke, I think you have, you know, you have uh, your legitimate questions, and, and uh, I think those were all questions that were discussed in the um, in our meetings, we talked about, you know, is this what should we do this, or would you rather have sidewalks and street lights and other places? And I think when you deal with a, a, a redevelopment area, um, it is a redevelopment area because there are a lot of needs in, in that redevelopment area, and um, and that helps it to qualify uh, for these. And so, um, so this is not the only. This is this is one piece of a redevelopment plan for for that area and there's been discussions about it and a lot of this has to do with the fact that that, that neighborhood themselves that they um, that they spoke out and this is what they are seeking to do for the community right now um, there and that was a decision that that we made as the but I'm part of the community too it, so. you are as, you are as a, a, a property <laughs> owner but, 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 a, a business owner but there. Chairman, we got to realize this is not something that came up this is the community develop a community plan that's that's what many, I'm saying many many right. years ago with stakeholders within the Carver Heights Montclair area 15 20 years ago um, this well, I'm was, sorry I'm 15 to missed, 20 years well, late. You, well, you, well, you, you missed the plan but that was part of the plan whether I was there or you were there, the neighborhood said, this is what we would like to see happen in our redevelopment area. Whether it was gateway signs, whether it was sidewalks, right. underground electric, the community I, got I, together, had charrettes, and just I, like we did at Venetian Garden. So if I don't go to Venetian Garden Charette, I can't come in here and say, hey, I don't, I don't think you should have a marina. I missed the meeting. And I come to my elected officials and I can voice my concerns, but that's not fair to those people who dedicated their time and their efforts and decided this is what we think will be best for our neighbor. But 15 and 20 years ago, we didn't have resources like we do today inside Leesburg. And, that, and, and that's so why, that's, that's why, why plans plan. need to change yeah. and, 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 over and time. And, and I'll tell you, I, I personally went and knocked on doors in the neighborhood and talked to people there myself because I had a lot of the same questions that, that you did and, and, uh, and also as to where it should be um, as well. And so, uh, so I went and I, I talked to some people, and um, so just to get a personal feel myself. And so I think it's something that is 
and, and I understand where you're coming from, and I and I uh, and I don't disagree that the things that you're saying that there are needs for street lights and sidewalks, and I don't think Commissioner Christian or anybody else would disagree with that either. Uh, but but, uh, but there's back, also some. Uh, if you go back in history, sidewalks were done. I think maybe 2003, coming down Center Street through Carver Heights, uh, underground utilities were done all part of a plan but the Carver Heights community meets every second Tuesday at 7 o'clock at Zion Hope Baptist Church they discuss these things every month they update themselves they update the plan what well, their priority start they do it once a month so it's not every three months not every six months it's every month they meet at Zion Hope Baptist Church so, so here what I would ask you is that that everybody in the community get behind this and support it because it's going to be a nice facility um, a lot of these things were taken into consideration. Um, I want to see that this is something that helps bring the community together. One of the things that I brought up was, is I, one of the, that was one of those issues was, it's not, there's not a sidewalk going out there. And so, you know, I, as I went out and went through the neighborhood and talked with people, they really liked the fact that the trail went through there and it would brought them close to the, um, to where this is gonna be. One of my hopes down the road is, is that somehow we can connect that trail up to the uh, to the resource center, and hopefully it'll be a way that brings the city together, and so that I can get on my bicycle and go to Venetian Gardens, and I can ride my bicycle from Venetian Gardens and ride all the way through the trail and get to the community center um, on 468. Well, we have and a lot of people that don't want to use the trails because they don't feel safe on them, and I've seen police officers drive down there for reasons. I've done it. I've done it with my five-year-old and eight-year-old. I don't have any problem with it. I think it's a safe trail, and and um, and I've um, I've done it, and I've attended events and. Um, at uh, Barry Park um, with my children, and we get there by riding our bicycles on the trail. Carolyn, well, I, I just want to tell you this that's noted in because we've got to get to the commission right meeting, but being a bike, okay, first off, ahead. I mean, I, I do understand what you're saying, and I agree with you. Um, I supported phase one. I'm, so, I'm not sold on the kitchen yet. I'm still trying to swallow that myself. Um, but it, it is something that, that we are going to push, I hope, as a commission to let it bring the community together and not be a division of the community um, and at the end of the day we are a small community we can't afford to go build a resource center in Sleepy Hollow and Beverly Shores and everywhere every little neighborhood um, so you know the, the hopes would be to make it something that the whole community can use and if this commission allows it to be Miss Mary's private kitchen on Thanksgiving and we let everybody just go in there and reserve it all the time for free then we're a sorry commission you should vote us out so uh, we're working on it we understand where you're going from and, and we'll definitely stay with it and i appreciate and as a commissioner a commissioner i appreciate your input and your concern for the city as a whole and and uh, and your advice and help that you've given on what well, i just so want we, everybody we're going to move on i just want you on, to so. consider yeah. instead if you can get grant money to get a kitchen you can get grant money to build it shelter worthy and I think if you're really concerned about helping that community, that community needs a shelter where elderly people can go during a hurricane. Because we only have Leesburg Elementary and we have Treadway and only one of them is on a generator. So only emergency people can go to one of those schools and I'm pretty sure it's Treadway. That's pretty far for people to travel considering you don't want them to travel over to save a lot to the Career Resource Center. So well, just keep that in mind. Just a quickie thing there, because we want to get through, but I mean, I appreciate you bringing it up, you know, because that's what, we all, what it's all about. But there's Rhymes Elementary School there. It, they don't, it, that is not a shelter. Not a shelter? That's not a shelter. Okay. So, thank you. So maybe that's something that, I don't know, Al, if you could look at, 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 at making it a shelter, make what the, that would make take. Make the pavilion so, a shelter. Yeah, what that, <coughs> what that would take, so do that. Motion to adjourn.